Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you a toilet roll hack. Stay tuned. So to make this project, first of all, you need a toilet paper roll. Well, we don't really need the toilet paper. What we actually need is the inner part, this cardboard. Now, I've been looking at these for years, and I hate to throw them away. Now, other than using them for an improvised telescope when you're a kid, or putting them together for a pair of binoculars, I knew there had to be something that I could use this for, and I come up with something that I think you'll enjoy. Let's get to it. You're going to need a few things to do this project. First, you're gonna need some sort of a burner. You can do this in the house if you wish. Outside, of course, you have a little less risk. You wanna get some golf wax, and this is, of course, just uh, basic paraffin. So this is a good thing to have anyway. You want to get your collection of used toilet rolls here. A pair of gloves, it's a good idea. And you want to get some tongs, something you can pull it out with. So we're going to make a double boiler. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So to make our double boiler, we just have an old pot from the Salvation Army. And then just a large can. And there's water in here. Now I've already heated up this golf wax just for the sake of time, but uh, it's already ready to go. But I'll give you an idea of how this works. We turn this on. All right, we got our burner on. Adjust our flame level. That'll keep it nice and hot. And by the way, everybody should have a stove like this. These are little butane stoves. They're not horribly expensive, but for off-grid emergencies, they're just fantastic. Anyway, all right, it's boiling. We turn it down just a little here at a medium. What we're going to do is we're going to take the toilet roll and we're going to flatten it out real good, just like this. Now, do keep in mind that this Gulf wax, uh, because of what it's made from, the paraffin is flammable. So we want to make it nice and flat, just like this. So it goes down inside like this and it just falls inside. Uh, what you will notice when you're watching this is that it will bubble some. You can see we're getting a little bubble here and there. And that's all of the air evacuating from the cardboard. Once we've let that soak a while, we take our tongs. These, of course, just tongs from, again, the Salvation Army thrift store. We reach down in there, and we find our cardboard. We bring it out, let it drip to get all the excess off of it. And then we set it aside to dry, and we go to make the next one. So after it's cooled down, you end up with this nice, really flat piece of cardboard. You can stick this in your wallet. Ladies could put it in your purse. Uh, you can carry it in your backpack. You can carry quite a few of them. They don't weigh very much. They are, of course, waterproof. But they've got this nice little line here. And this is where it's wrapped together and glued. And this lends itself very well to just tearing it right along those lines. And you tear off just a piece and then keep some for later. Of course, it's very easy to light with a lighter. You can see, of course, it's kind of windy out here, but uh, yeah, so lights well, burns a long time. It's just a great fire starter that you can use. You can also use a ferro rod on it, and I'll show you how that works. Now, what I like to do is I like to take and make a little column out of it. So tear a piece here that will kind of stand up straight, like this. Okay, so that's something our flame can burn up to. Then you want to take your scraper or your knife, and you want to scrape the cardboard up here and the wax, and you want to kind of fluff that up a little bit, just like you would any other type of cotton ball or anything. And uh, you're just getting that, getting that built up, of course, so it will take a spark. Once you get that fluffed up adequately, the way you want it, then you put your ferro rod down into it, and you just start striking some sparks. Doesn't take too much. And as you can see there, we get a nice little flame. And uh, actually, the tore a piece off getting it ready. But uh, that right there... It's just a fantastic fire starter, and it's cheap, and it's something that we normally throw away. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the down arrow. 
And while you're down there, you'll also find our Waypoint Survival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.